I hope they're excited to play, which I know they are. You know, they're anxious right now, and uh, I'm sure the other teams are anxious. I'm anxious a little bit. Uh, so what I what I what I talked to those guys about today was uh, trying to trying to keep everything at a keel level. Uh, try not to get too excited early and burn up so much energy because that's what's going to happen. You know, you get excited. Next thing you know, you're burning up all that energy. You start hyperventilating. You get tired. Those things. So I talked to them about trying to control their emotions mainly. Michelle Gardner, Arizona Republic. Uh, can you talk, Coach, about it? I've obviously, obviously, linebacker, you're a little thin. Yeah. What have you seen in the development of your backup linebackers, your second group? Well, I tell you what, 22, uh, Caleb, Caleb's played hard. 28, uh, um, God, I'm going to run a blank. But Schaefer, yeah, Will. Will Will's playing the mic, and, and I'll tell you what, Will is really, really vocal. He, he makes all the checks. And he's been good. And then the development of number 66, Kanye. James, James, you know, we got him playing a couple of different positions. He's playing um, the Will or the Sam. And then when we have some rush situations, we got him down, which, which gives us another extra guy rushing the passer. So the development of all those guys has been good. Coach Michael Carrots, New York Sideline Sports. And to piggyback off that, I know – a few weeks ago, you talked about getting them to communicate more. Correct. So coming into this first game and Correct. as you wrap up camp, how do you feel that just in general starters back up the communication has been with them with each other on the field? Well, i tell you what, a little bit of the concern is what I call in the game. So I'm going to try to keep it so simple that we can make the right calls. I will get after them a little bit, but for the most part, um, we talked about that this morning too, about you know communication is going to be the number one thing because, again, if we don't communicate, anxiety is going to get in there. We're going to get frustrated. Next thing you know, the ball will be snapped and everybody will be off kill. So communication is going to be a big thing. And, and they've done a good job all week. So I'm happy about that. Anybody? Um, yeah. Um, your thoughts about just kind of your D-line rotation? Because last year uh, you had a third down whole group substitution. But Correct. this year it seems like some of those guys who are base down guys may stay out there and maybe Anthony moves inside or you know, Tre Trevez is out there, some 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 base, some nickels. Uh, yeah, I, I'll tell you what we've been trying to do is uh, I've given Rob the luxury to try to – the ones are probably six guys. So, you know, normally you see four guys. So our ones are we got about six guys that can rotate, and I felt good about that. So that's what you see. You, you don't see just ones and twos. You've seen more ones, six, you know, six reps, six guys. Let's just get it done. Whoever's in there, I'm happy with. I, I don't have a problem with them right now. Um, again, you know, we got some talent, and I and I, I got to make sure, like I told Rob, let's let's let them play. You know, let, let let's let them compete, like we've been doing all spring, and all fall, and in the summer. Let, let's just let them go. So you'll see about six guys, six to seven, maybe eight. Just depends who's ever out there. I, I don't care. I don't. We don't have any twos. That's what I'm getting to. We got all ones. Coach, is there one player in particular that's made a huge jump from the start of fall camp to now maybe? Any one guy that jumps in your mind that uh, You improved? know, I would have to probably say uh, Merlin. Um, you know, Merlin, Merlin has taken on a different leadership. Uh, you know, he, he sees that he's been here, what, five to almost six years. And right now it's his turn to, to lead and, and take over that position. So I, I would say it's Merlin. Really, really, really uh, pleased with his, his uh, development. Top from Devil's Digest. So Ed talked to us a, a few days ago about how in the off season he had, or not, after the spring he had conversations with the coaching staff about how best he could prepare himself to get in the starting role. What were the, some of those conversations like? And um, the ones I had with him, or the ones that he had with coaches? Um, just just in general about him being able to start um, this this fall. I can tell you the ones I had with him. I, I don't know what the other that guys had talked about, obviously. The ones I had with him was, um, you know, when he first got here as a freshman, uh, he played very hard, made some mistakes, competed. And uh, then all of a sudden we got the next year we start bringing in more guys. And, and his participation, in my opinion, he practiced well. He had some issues off the field that he had to deal with, that, that you know, it's family things that really put him in a, a different mode. Um, so when he came to talk to me, and he talked to me probably just the start of uh, – training camp. And what I told him is, hey, go back to when you first got here and compete. That's all you can do. If you get beat, you get beat. Nobody, so what? We all get beat. 
But for a guy like that who came in here as a freshman and, and really stood out to lose a year because of all the things that he was going through on and off the field, um, and I told him, hey, just, just don't worry about all those things. You know, when you're on the field, you're on the field to play. That's all you can do. You make a mistake, you, you move on. A guy beat you, so what? Uh, my biggest thing is I tell him, if a guy just beat you on an out, did he ever beat you? And I tell him, no, he didn't beat you. You gave him one. The next time, let him run the same play, the same route, and I guarantee you, you'll win. So what I, what I mean by that is usually technique that you lose on, not, not because of uh, the guy being better than you. So that, that was my conversation with him. Now what the other coaches said, I, I, hope, they, I hope they told him something good. And then specifically with DJ, um, it seemed like he only started playing the, the nickel role like two weeks ago. Correct. Um, what, what about his athleticism and uh, just, just his skill set lends itself? Well, just so what well you said. He's well. very athletic. He's fast. He's strong. He's big. Uh, he likes football. And, uh, you know, last year, I think last year when I was coaching the secondary, I held him back a little bit. He, I didn't think he was ready to play at that particular time. Plus, I had other guys that was in there. You know, you think about those the guys that I left, that, that left here. Um, you know, it was, it was four seniors. And, and then, you know, I had Jordan playing nickel. So DJ was back there on special teams, and that's where I left him. So I held him back a little bit. But I also saw this year that, you know, you got a guy that can flat run, and he's physical, and he loves football. And he could change direction. So I said, hey, let's put him at the nickel when Jordan went down. I said, let's put him at the nickel. Let's see what he can do. And, and he's proven that he's learning the position. I believe this. If we can put him in enough situations that, that, uh, that it's repetition, so to speak, of what he's supposed to do, he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll, he'll, he'll skyrocket. I do believe that because of his athleticism. Heck, I'm listening to you. You just gave me, you just gave me the, 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 everything you know. <laughs> you know, you gave me the pregame re report on him. Advance. Um, absolutely. You know, the running back's pretty good running back. Ain't no doubt about that. Big, strong, 6'2", 220. Physical guy. Uh, will hit that thing downhill. And, and I'll tell you what, if you're a little DB, then you better bring your, you better bring your lunch pail because they'll run you over. The wide receiver number 10 and number 6, I mean, those guys can get down the field. They throw the ball. The quarterback will extend plays, obviously. There's no doubt about that. Um, we have to contain the quarterback. Uh, we, you know, we'd like to say we got to be able to stop the run, but that's going to be difficult. I mean, they're going to run the football and throw it around. Uh, for us, we just got to make sure that we tackle well and get to the ball, and I, I keep it simple so we can play. We need to be able to play fast and keep things simple so everybody can play fast. That's, that's my main objective right now, going in this game, trying to keep the ball in front, stopping the run, and uh, try to keep the quarterback from uh, extending plays. I don't think so. I mean, you know, they, they understand what happened to the down the team down the road. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, if you just want to look at that tape, look at that tape. Um, you know, they put one in and you put one on the guys down the road. So um, I don't talk about it much. Uh, but like I said to them is, hey, we need to take care of our business and do what we're supposed to do at the at the being physical and running to the football and keeping the ball from going over our heads will help give us the best chance to win. That's just how I see it. So those things that give us the best chance to win. Now, if we, if we can do those things, we got a, we got a chance. So. Donnie, what's your sense of um, your ability to get to the quarterback with just four? Because it seems like Trevez and Joe and others have that ability. And how much does that help if, if, that, if you can get that from them? You know how that is. You get four guys to that quarterback, them DBs are sitting there saying, throw the ball. Um, we, we hope, and we've trained all year, and sometimes I've got to keep them off the quarterback here because, you know, they're, they're, Rob's got them going pretty much. So I'm looking forward to seeing them play. They're, you know, I hope you are looking forward to seeing them play like I am. We're going to see if these four guys or five guys or six guys, like I said, up front can rush that pass. If we do that and we run to the football and we stop the run and keep the ball in front of us, we've we got a chance to win. Just a chance. Anybody else? Hey, thank you guys. You guys have been been nice. Uh, yeah, you're welcome.